yo, 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 yo. Funny story, funny story. Uh, well, we all got these crushes, alright? I got a crush on this woman, but, uh, excuse the beef in the background. It's the truck again. Y'all know how the truck is. Man, I've been having a crush on her since about 2015. And, uh, you know, like me, I don't know about you, but I know I got a crush on somebody when I'm plotting on what I'm going to say when I see you again. Like, I'm going through the scenario. So, uh, peep this. I used to work for the YMCA. So, while I'm working for the YMCA, uh, she used to come pick up kids, you know, single mother, this, this, and that. And I swear, uh, every day, Every day that I was at that uh, at the school program, I wasn't there. I I wasn't there every day. I was there maybe two days out the week because I used to uh, oversee school, so I used to be there two days a week. All right, unless somebody called in or something, and I went to another school because they was okay having that number of workers there. So. Every day I used to go there, I used to show up, no lie, about 10, 15 minutes early so I can plot on how I'm going to strategize and set myself up to talk to her. Alright? Now, when I wanted to talk to her, check this out. I couldn't go talk to her, hey, I'm Michael, because I'm a freaking YMCA worker. I ain't got no prestige. But I know if I could have had a conversation with her, ah, I would have got that right there. I would have got that. So, every day she used to come, I used to like, I used to have it down by the, by the tee what time she was coming in, you know. So, I used to just be like trying to get close to the door, you know what I'm saying. I knew what a car looked like and everything. So, when she came, blah, 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 I'm trying to talk. And her kid, you know, he was a real cool kid, you know. And he used to remind me of, like, a cool version of if I had a son, you know. So, I used to always see him. Used to, like, talk to him, like, I'm brown-nosing a little first. No, I think he was in kindergarten. He was in kindergarten up first. I used to brown-nose, trying to be like, hey, like me? Like me, so your mama liked me. So I was going hard, going hard, going hard, going hard. And I ain't gonna lie. The last day of the year, I was there, all right? I was ready to wrap, wrap, round for the slide of my number. Guess what happened? She didn't even pick him up that day. The girl mama did. So I didn't wait like two months to get her the number. You feel me? So, I didn't get her the number. My shady self, I didn't look her number up on the parent roster. And I was like, hmm, let me see what happened. So, I had her number and I had like text her on some, some, some lame yo kid stuff. Now, I want you to take consideration. I am one of the I wouldn't say one of the mature workers at my age but you know I'm not a kid you know I ain't gonna say I got my stuff together but I ain't a kid you know I'm an adult with a kid who working got his own place you know self sufficient but she don't know that whatever whatever so I got her number I hit her up like once and then you know how on Facebook See, that's what happened there. So, when I looked her up on Facebook, we became Facebook friends. So, man, this been years, and I'm just like, I want you. I want you. But, I know I can't have her. But, life is times, life and times are different nowadays, you know. That whole August I've seen her and, and Will Smith got me feeling myself right now, you know. 
So I've been a little cocky, like I'm gonna do something, knowing I ain't gonna do nothing. But yeah, it's definitely like crazy how like you know how you meet your crush. You know, cause a crush ain't some invisible made up thing. A crush is somebody you didn't met, that you didn't interacted with, that you got a desire to have some with, but circumstances don't allow you. So, yeah, I just be like, man, I want to say something, but then it's like, the route I took to get her contact puts me in a situation where, like, I'm doomed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm set up for failure because no matter what I do, she see me as a YMC after school program worker. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no wrong with that. But like, you know, like 50 Cent said, if I flip burger at Burger King, you feel me? No. No, they won't. So I've been like for years like, man, if she ever changed her profile to a relationship, I'm in trouble. So I still got a shot as long as her relationship profile is single. So one day it's going to change. But, you know, no tell me kind of dude she mess with. You know, women like her, you know, those good girls, they got it all together. They like them lame dudes. So no telling who she really messing with right now. You know, because in my opinion, somebody's a, somebody of her status should have been locked up years ago. She's still out here free. So one day, one day, one day, I want to pursue it, but I ain't trying to be no stalker, because, you know, I'm I, 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 I low-key cocky, so, you know, at the end of the day, I ain't finna chase nobody. I will think about you and want you, but I ain't, I ain't finna chase you, alright? Because I, I, I don't get down like that. I'm too prideful to be chasing somebody, but, you know, I may do a slight run. You know, I might do a little slight run. I ain't going to sprint or nothing. I ain't going to sprint, but I definitely would, you know, make my shot one day. Because I'm up to par now. But I will say having those conversations now would be challenging because, you know, Sometimes the approach you take to get there, it affects you when you do get there. So that's one thing I definitely learned as I got older in life. Like, if you take shortcuts when you get there, you can't feel hurt when you don't meet the standard of what's needed when you get there because you didn't take shortcuts. And another side story, I experienced that when I was in grad school. When I was in grad school, I took a shortcut for a class, and it's the class I need to know the most information for as a social worker, you know. That's the one class I really did need that I really didn't pay attention to. (laughs) The one class I didn't pay attention to is the one class I do need. But yeah, I'm going to definitely attack my crush one day, you know. I'm, I'm building up the courage and the pride to holler at my crush because she, she deserved somebody like me, you know. But I will say, I just want to shoot my shot and get shot down, and I feel a lot better, you know, because I know I ain't on her level. So by me knowing I'm not on, for me knowing I'm not on her level, it makes that whole, let me get this over with, type thing let me go and fail you know i don't mind failing because i know the end results of me failing is gonna make me feel better and accomplished and help me move forward with my next dreams and desires and stuff like that but i will say this you know it's kind of like your childhood if you grow up with that looking at that famous person in a famous light if you can keep that light for a long time it help you in the long run because you still see them like that you know i can only imagine people that had like childhood dreams i ain't finna say no names on my podcast to blow them up but if it's any like 
people, famous people they was attracted to at a young age and they grew up and saw them turn into some crazy people. Yeah, 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 yeah. That will affect you. But, you know, my crush, my crush can get it. She can get it, take it, keep it, whatever she wants. But, all right, holla.